Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be slightly different to normal because there's no photography in this one. Um, basically the weather's been so lousy, um, we're also in the run up to the Christmas period, I've just been too busy to go out and take photos. Um, so I've taken this opportunity to revamp my website um, and I'm really excited to show you it all in this video. Now I am a professional um, website designer uh, by day, that's how I make my bread and butter. Um, so it was actually quite an easy job for me, reasonably quick for me to revamp my website. It had about 70 pages I needed to update. But I've also taken the opportunity to add a website store, um, which I'm very excited to talk to you about, but I'll mention that in the later in the video. Now I see a lot of other YouTubers um, often promoting other website building software and they seem to sell it as a unique selling point of their own so or the stuff they're promoting as needing no code. I just want to set the fa uh, facts straight here that most modern uh, website building software, be it Wix, um, Squarespace or WordPress, you don't need to code. So don't worry about when these photographers or other YouTubers say it needs no code. That's kind of the same on any uh, website builder. It's nothing special about the product they're promoting on their affiliate links. Like 400 million other websites out there um, that run on WordPress, I decided to run my own photography website on WordPress. Um, basically, I build all my clients' websites um, on WordPress, which is a content management system. Um, Google that if you don't know what it is, but I will try and put a link at the bottom. And I, so I thought it was the uh, right thing to do for my own site is to use WordPress. And I'm, I'm very familiar with the back end of it um, and how to get the best out of it, be it security or uh, look and feel or responsiveness. Now I built uh, my website to be primarily fast and also to look good on um, mobile devices, uh, tablets, phones, small laptops, big laptops, it's got to look, it had to look good on all devices. Um, it also had to be f uh, run fast. Um, so for that, a lot of that uh, is down to where you host your website. Um, the good thing about WordPress, you're not tied to a certain company where you want to host your websites. Um, if you find your hosting supplier is too slow, you can copy your site to another um, hosting provider relatively straightforward. Now I use SiteGround. I've only just started using them actually only in the last year and to be honest I've been really happy with them uh, and that's who I recommend uh, all my clients use. Uh, there's a link in the description below. I think they do a deal for your first year uh, like most companies and then they put the prices up uh, the following year. Now I think uh, for UK users I think it's about £40 for the first year and goes up to about 145 per annum after that. I also mentioned um, my website had to look nice across all devices. Um, I do actually spend a lot of time testing all my websites, not just my own, um, that it looks uh, not just acceptable on other devices, but looks good and functions as, 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 a, as it should. Um, I just don't like this uh, attitude with some people with oh, that'll do on the mobile because I can't be bothered to uh, sort it out. I mean, it is easy to sort out so all devices look good for for your website so just take that extra I took that extra time to just ensure mine was uh, spot on as well so this is my own new revamped website viewed on a browser uh, it's on the de desktop device and I'm viewing it through Chrome hopefully it demonstrates how fast it runs and the simple navigation all of which I'll talk later on and about in the video to test my website uh, across devices, I just use this app called Sizzy, S-I-Z-Z-Y, more of you American, Z-Z-Y, and it just gives a nice view of um, how, how devices lock, uh, sorry, how your website looks across multiple devices, um, and you can add as many devices as you want, I think, and c custom devices. Um, it's a really great way, if you're doing your own website, to use something like that to uh, see how it will, will look and perform on other websites. So this is my own website viewed on the Sizzy app. Uh, Sizzy is a very useful app to me. Um, it ha saves so much time looking at a website and how it's viewed across multiple devices, a real time saver. 
One new addition that I'm really, really excited about to my website is the print shop. It's something I've wanted to add for ages. Now, I'm not a busy photographer and I haven't got time to do a store like other photographers do. So I needed a drop uh, shipping solution, i.e. someone um, puts an order on my website and it's fulfilled by someone else. And there's no involvement with me whatsoever, which is what I want. Um, I've got other things to do. Um, so that's great, that's all working. Um, now the print partner I'm using is a UK based printer. Um, now the service I'm using is Creative Hub. Again, links down below, but they are part of the print space. Um, now, two reasons I love these printers uh, or print service is the quality of the prints are amazing. Um, you can choose your papers, um, sizes, etc., etc., and they're also carbon neutral. And I'm, I'm very conscious of doing a lot of stuff nowadays that are carbon neutral, or at least minimal impact on the uh, planet. Uh, so that service has only come live in the last month or so. So I was, uh, a lot of what I was doing with the website waited on that, and as soon as that came in, I, I got it up and running with my website, and it was fairly straightforward to do. But I will probably do a video on, on that, how to set that up if you're interested in a separate video. Um, but it is very straightforward. So anyway, take a look at the print shop. You never know, you might be a print you like to buy it. I'm also going to start including some free stuff. Uh, at the moment, there's only one thing there. I think it's a LUT for my uh, Sony ZV-1, um, just to give it a nice, better look. Colour science on that is a bit ropey. So um, I've done a LUT for the HLG. Uh, picture pro profile which is free to download um, and I think uh, I'll include it there's a link up somewhere around there of a video graded with that LUT. Anyway that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you get to check out my photography site uh, please buy a print if you want uh, no pressure. Now I will be doing a short series of videos um, I think in the new year probably about five or six on a step-by-step -step process on how to build a, uh, a website based on WordPress. Um, I'm going to gear it around photographers but I think it, uh, a lot of other people might find it useful. Anyway that's going to come in the new year. Anyway that's it, no more yab yibby yabbering from me. So I hope you like the video. Please comment, like or subscribe at the bottom. It means a lot to me and see you in the next video.